Crafting holiday postcards with Luminar Dio is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hey, everyone. All right, so I'm going to have to mute somebody. There, I got it. All right. So here we are, guys. Um, we're going live with this, and we have our Luminar Coffee Break people sticking around or that are here now uh, watching this live. And if you're on YouTube watching this live, keep in mind that if you subscribe to Luminar Coffee Break here, you can actually jo join the Zoom session and stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment after we're done. All right. But for now, what I'm going to do is this. I can't wait to show you this. Here is our holiday postcard that we're going to create. Now we're going to start with something like this. Now, believe it or not, this was an Adobe stock paid image. So this was a final image that somebody uploaded to Adobe stock. This is what we're going to do to it. All right. And I'm going to show you how we do it. So from here, I'm going to go to edits and I want to discard all the edits. Now, first off, I want my postcard to be a five by seven because that's the typical postcard uh, size that we're going to deal with. So from here, if this isn't, this is already a five by seven. If this isn't a five by seven, then let's go down to this one. Here's an eight by 10. You have to use the crop tool and under crop right here, change the aspect ratio to a five by seven and then crop it right about here. All right. So that's, that's one way of doing it or like I said earlier, I did have this set to a five by seven. So I'm going to start with this one. All right. So I'm going to come over here, edits, and I want to discard all of my edits and I want to get rid of this layer. So now I'm starting fresh. So this right here is the image that we're going to be dealing with. So what I want to do is this. The first thing I need to do is make sure, which we just did, make it a five by seven. So I have it perfectly proportioned for what I need for printing. Now I need to clean this up a little bit. So under the edits, what I'm going to do is I want to start with Enhance AI. And I'm going to let it help clean it up just a bit, which is, eh, that's good. But what's really going to make this look even better is this Smart Contrast. So I'm going to, oh, look at that. I'm going to bump up Smart Contrast quite a bit. Let's bring down some of the highlights. And I'm going to enrich the black tones. Here we go. And then, of course, bring out some of the whites a little bit. Look, already it's looking better. We went from this to this, just with two simple tools, Enhance AI and the Develop tool. Now, this is fine. I don't like the glare, which I'm going to cover. I'm going to fix that in a few minutes. But we have the base going. Now, I did go back to Adobe Stock. And I downloaded this right here. Happy New Year's. All right. <laughs> I just realized it's yeah, 2024. So that's perfect. So Happy New Year's 2024. This looks great. But the problem is I don't want that black behind it. So what I'm going to do is since I'm on the layer property, I'm going to change the blend mode. And I'm just going to cycle through screen looks good or light looks good. So to screen, I'm going to stick with screen. And let's just move it into position. And I bet you could guess where I'm going to go with it from here. I'm on it. I'm on my own layer now. I'm on a separate layer. I don't like the way it looks here. So why don't we go to develop and do the same thing we did earlier with that smart contrast. Look, look at that. Now, by the way, watch this. That's what you're really seeing. Look, look at the gray box behind it. Well, we want to get rid of that. So I'm going to bump up the smart contrast quite a bit and I'm also going to take the the structure and bump that up just a bit yeah look at that all right now in doing all of this let's go back to that layer property um, I'm going to mask out and I'm going to brush right here and what I want to do with brush is select erase and what I want to do is get rid of this black or more or less 
fade the black background into the background here. So I'm just feathering it with a, with a huge brush. There, so it's not going to be as noticeable. It's still there, but our eye's not going to be drawn to it. Look at that. Much better. All right. So this looks really good. Real quick. Happy New Year's 2020-2024. That is an image. This is an image. I made it look like this. Fine. But you know what? It's just it's missing something. Here's where magic light comes in. Watch this. And this is going to be incredible on a Christmas tree also. Look at all these specular highlights. All right? Oh, look at that. Huge difference. So that little extra is making this card look much better. So that's great. Now remember, I'm on this layer. So let's look at all the edits. Here's all the edits on the bottom layer. If I click on the top layer, the edits are totally independent. Well, let's go back to this bottom layer. And you know what? We could do more. So I love how this is looking. But you know what? I'm really falling in love with our, you guessed it, our neon glow. Not neon, but I'm going to go to the glow section. I'm going to give it a generous amount. Oh, look, look what's happening. So I like how that looks. I could change the, the color of the light or the hue of the light. That looks good there. Now, I like it, but you know what? I'm missing the bottom half, right? So let's go to mask. And under mask, brush, erase. Now I'm going to come in here. I just want to get rid of that glow on that area. Ooh, look at that. Look, look how I'm bringing it out more. Before. After. Look how it just adds an extra, that little extra layer to it. I love it. Now, I'm going to go back up here to the um, to the New Year's layer on top. And I'm looking at it like this. I can reposition it. You know what? That looks good. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move it just a touch. Right about here. I, I guess what I'm not liking is this piece down here. So I'm going to go back to that layer. And what I want to do is darken it. So I could use either Relight or just make it real simple. Develop. Take the exposure. And all I'm doing right now is looking at the bottom half. Global change. So I'm making the change to the entire image. Now with mask, linear gradient, what I want to do is take that and I'll make a local change. And I only want that dark um, appearance on the bottom half of the image, but I want it to fade all the way up. And there we have, let's see if it makes a difference. Before, yeah, after, look at that. Look how I'm able to actually draw attention now to the Happy New Year's text itself. All right. So there we have it. We went from a simple 5 by 7 okay looking image. And then with Magic Light, Neon Glow, and of course using layers, we're able to transform it into a beautiful postcard that we could put on the holiday um, card list. All right. Now, keep this in mind. On the other side of it, it's up to you. If you, I'm not quite sure how many people actually mail postcards anymore, but on the back of it, that's where you do the traditional name, uh, your name and information and place where you put the stamp. I didn't include that here because if I go to print this, what I'd rather do is I can send it off to, let's say, Miller Labs or MPIC and have them print five by sevens one sided because it's a lot cheaper, full color. Now, have as many as I want, and I'd rather hand them out to my family and friends or go to the store and you could buy, or even on Amazon, um, buy the 5 by 7 envelopes. And on the back of it, make sure it's matte. It's a matte finish, not gloss. If it's a matte finish, you would hand write. Yes, I know we don't do that anymore, but hand write just a simple holiday greetings to everyone or a, a good friend of mine every year includes two pages of what his family has been up to for the entire year. And it's kind of cool because it's, it's a quick way to, you know, recap 
uh, what what your family is doing so everyone else that you send it to can have an idea of what's happening if they're not on social media, all right? And if you do that, well, then you can slip this postcard into it. Now, for me personally, having one of your own images doing what we just did would mean so much more to other people, so that's an option, all right? So once again, here we are with uh, Luminar Coffee Break. If you want to watch this live with us on Zoom so you can stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment, uh, make sure you bookmark this, uh, this, 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 email, this address. And if you're already here, let me get rid of that. If you're already here, please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment where we could review more about what we just did, or you could ask any questions whatsoever pertaining to photography, uh, Luminar, uh, tech support, whatever you need to make you better at getting Luminar Neo down. All right? Well, thanks so much for joining us, and I'll see you at the next coffee break.